Welcome to a new tutorial based on the intro of House of the Dragon. Today I am going to show you the composition of my project. I have made the render in OpenX or multi-layer format at 1280x720, so the file size has risen to 280GB, and I have uploaded individual frames to drive. Once the render is finished, we create a new project. We give 0 to start frame, 5 to end, and adjust the timeline to the first 6 frames. Now we go to Compositor and we activate Use Nodes. We remove Render Layers and add an Image Node. Then we open Tut 4, double zero EXR file, select Scene 03 in Layer, and select Image Sequence. There are 6 images and they start at frame 0. So we have an animation, and we can see how is the result in the different scenes. If you don't have Node Wrangler active, it's time to activate it. We press Ctrl Shift and click on our image. Now we click on Backdrop and we already have a preview. First we are going to leave space between the nodes. Ok, let's drag the noisy image to a denoise, and we connect albedo and normal to their respective inputs. With Ctrl Shift click on the node we change the preview, and the difference between both images is notable. For now we are going to disconnect noisy image and we preview the combined layer again. We can preview each layer by clicking on its output while holding down Ctrl Shift. From now on I'll just say preview. As you can see, Shadow does not contain information, so we're going to discard that layer. We don't need to change any more option in the image. So we right-click on the node and select Toggle Node Options. We drag Ambient Occlusion to a new mix. We connect Combine to the first input and AO to the second. We preview, and we see that AO does not have denoise, so we connect it to our node. We connect the output to mix, and change the mode to multiply. Even adjusting the factor takes away too much light, but we can adjust AO a bit before mixing it. We add a bright contrast node between denoise and multiply, and set bright to 18 and contrast to 50. If we preview mix again, even at 1 we get a much better look. We select the three nodes and press Ctrl G. In the sidebar we go to group and we change the name to AO, we add Bright, Contrast and FAC, and press Tab to exit. Let's change the name of the node to Ambient Occlusion. Now we are going to adjust AO in each scene, or in this case in each frame. In frame 0 we leave FAC to 1 and we create a keyframe. We go to frame 1 and create keyframe with 0.6. In 2 to 0.7. In 3 and 4 to 0.5. And in 5 to 0.7. Now, if we look at frame 0, for example, the combined image has fog, and when apply AO on it, it also does it in this area. We basically need a mat of the objects in the scene without fog. We can do it even in JPG, and as I use old laptops, let me use my PC to continue working. We duplicate our image, right-click and select toggle node options. We open the image tut 4 alpha 00 JPG file, select image sequence, 3 frames and start frame 0. There are only 3 frames because the last 3 images do not contain background. We enter to AO group by pressing tab. We add a set alpha node and insert it between the input group and multiply. We connect alpha to a new input, we exit of the group, and we connect our image to alpha. We enter the group again and insert a color ramp, we invert the ramp and we put the black over here. But now we want to add the original background without AO, so we add an alpha over node between multiply and output. We connect the original image to the first image, and we leave the group. Right click on our alpha image, and select toggle node options. Something I always like to do is add switches, but we can't connect it to our input group. So we add one and insert it between AO and output. We change the output to on, we activate it, and we connect combine to off. We select both nodes, press Ctrl J, we name it AO, and change the background color. We add an exposure node, we insert it. Then we add a bright contrast node, select both nodes and press Ctrl G. We drag exposure bright and contrast to new inputs. We leave the group and rename it general light correction. We add a switch node, we change it to on. 
We activate it, we connect the previous switch to off and we create another frame, changing the background color and name. Now we could do the same as with AO, correct lighting separately to objects and background. We enter the AO group, copy these three nodes and exit from AO. We enter the new group and paste the nodes. We duplicate set alpha and insert it between input and exposure. Then we connect alpha to a new input, we leave the group and connect our image to alpha. We go back in, connect alpha to value and image to set alpha. Now duplicate exposure and bright contrast nodes. We connect set alpha to exposure and connect to alpha over in the second image. We connect this node to the first image and connect to output. We change the names of these three inputs adding VG. We connect the other three to new inputs and leave the group. Now we can adjust the brightness separately. We insert a new mix node, change mode to multiply, and we connect our alpha image to FAC. We duplicate multiply with Control shift d and we insert a color ramp node in FAC. We invert the ramp and we put the black more or less here. We insert an alpha over node, we connect multiply to the second image and create a new group. We drag both colors to new inputs, we rename as BG temperature and leave the group. We rename the node to temperature, insert a switch and we change to on. Activate it and connect light correction to off. We create a new frame, change the color and rename it to temperature. I think maybe a more bluish tone to the background and to the objects a slightly yellowish one. We connect mist layer to a denoise node. Then we connect albedo and normal, and we connect the output to a mix. We change the mode to multiply. We duplicate it, and we change it to screen. We change to the second image, and we connect temperature to the first image. I forget to change denoise to the first image. We give 0.015 to FAC. We select the three nodes, and we create another group with them. We drag FAC to a new input, and drag image to another input. We rename this input to Mist, this one to Colorize, we leave the group, and rename it to Mist. We copy this switch node, we paste it, then we insert it after Mist and we change it to On. We select both nodes, create a frame, now we rename Mist and change its color. Now we can change the color of the Mist layer, for example, to a slightly bluish tone. We add an insert in the output of mist a new glare node. We select fog glow high, we set mix to 1, and threshold to 0.2. We insert a mix node, change the mode to multiply, and give it a bluish color. We duplicate multiply, we change the mode to add, and we connect the output of mist to the first image. We select the three nodes and we create another group. Drag fact to a new input, drag image to another input, and rename it to colorize since I want to create keyframes in Threshold, and I want to be able to do it directly in the node, let's create a conductor. We select the input group. In the sidebar we add a new one, and we renamed it Threshold. We give to min a value of minus 1, and to max a value of 1. We leave the group, then right-click on Threshold and select Copy as new driver. We enter the group again, right-click on Threshold, and select Paste driver. We leave the group, we rename it to Glare, and we can now create keyframes directly. So in frame 0 we create keyframe to 0.2, in frame 1 to 0.3, in 2 to 0.4, in 3 to 0.1, in 4 to 0.2, and in 5 to 0.1. We repeat the process with a switch and frame both nodes. At this point, it starts to get complicated to recognize what is connected where, so let's organize the nodes, for example in this way. Now we are going to deactivate our alpha image in the last three frames by adding a switch and creating keyframes on frames 2 and 3. We select both nodes, create a frame, then we rename alpha and change its color. We add a new image node and open tut 4 bloodshine, double zero EXR, select scene 03 at layer, image sequence, 6 frames and start at 0. 
This layer contains only the liquid, so we connect glossy direct layer to a new denoise node. We connect albedo and normal we preview and insert a new mix node. We change mode to add and connect the glare output to the first image. Let's lower FAC a bit to 0.4. Create a new glare node, we insert it after our denoise, and we select fog glow and high. We create a new group, we rename it to Bloodshine, we frame it, and add a switch to it. From now on I'll call this Finish the Group. We do the same thing we did with Glare, we create inputs, copy as new driver, and pass driver. We set mix to 1, threshold to 0.3 and size to 7. We add an image node. Open tut 4 raise 0 2 EXR. There are 4 frames, and they start at 2. We connect to an alpha over node and we change to the second image. We connect the output of Bloodshine to the first image and change fact to 0.45. We are going to tint the rays with a slightly bluish tone, adding a color ramp node and changing the black point to transparent and the white point to a soft blue. We finish the group and rename it to rays. Add an image node and open tut 4 particles, double zero EXR. There are 6 frames and they start at zero. We connect to a mix node and we change it to add. We change to the second image and connect rays to off. We insert a glare node, select fog glow, high, set mix to 1, threshold to 0, and size to 6. As the camera moves fast in frames 0, 1, and 3, the particles are barely visible, so we can add keyframes to fact. We finish the group and rename it to Particles. I have not uploaded the film grain file that I have used because you can find many free ones. Add an image or video clip node. Open the downloaded file and we configure it. In this case it's a 4K file so we scale to render size with the scale node. We add a mix node and we insert it after Particles. We change it to overlay and connect scale to the second image. Depending on each file, it can be necessary to correct the brightness. So we can insert an exposure node after this scale and give it a value of 1. We finish the group and rename it to film grain. We create an ellipse mask node and connect it to an invert node. We connect it to a blur node, then we connect it to a mix node and connect film grain to the first image. I am going to set width to 0.965 and height to 0.536. In the blur node we select relative, we correct the aspect on the Y axis, and set 15 to both X and Y. We change the mode to multiply and change the color to a gray tone, and thus we avoid that it darkens the edges so much. We finish the group and rename it to vignette. The best thing about this is that we don't have to repeat the whole process over and over again with every new project, we can just import these nodes at any time, correct the values that we need, and save a lot of time. If you like to subscribe to my channel, you will be helping me to upload more content. Thanks for watching and see you soon.